Okay, here's old uh, new school Maytag dependable super capacity. And what I'm going to do is, for some reason, this thing uh, it either wouldn't spin or wouldn't agitate. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this older motor and timer and swap it and put uh, a whole new time the style that I'm going to be putting on it. Apparently, it just hooks right up. Uh, this one here had a bad transmission. Uh, this one, uh, the transmission definitely uh, would not agitate. So as soon as it went into the agitation cycle, it would kind of like grunt and burn the belt. So I had to, I scrapped this one out. And that other one I've got over there uh, is, uh, is going to be the one we're bringing back to life. I'll put this timer on that one over there and then we'll uh, see if we can make it up. Okay, there it is. These mounts on this were exactly the same as the other mount. We got a two-tone action happening here. You can see it basically bolted right into this large style opening here. So I'll clean this up, put that motor on, connect the wires up. I had to cut the wires uh, to get them through because there's a, a hole that it has to go through and I have to fish it through there. And uh, then I'll put this motor on, take this one off and it should be good. So there's three screws that hold this motor in basically. One here, one here, and one in front. Let's see. And then I have to keep the top loose so that I can... I'm going to use the uh, same old water valves. And so... Basically... Get, it. get in here. And I'm going to leave this water valve where it is. And I'm going to disconnect here. This is orange one. So we got orange, what do we got here? Uh, orange and white and blue and white. Blue and white is probably going to be the cold. So, let's see, this is been sitting here for quite a while. You can see, yeah, the bottom one is the cold. You can see the little C mark right there, maybe. The little H mark right up there. And there's the model number, the old school model number. This is the new school, new school, new school, old school model number. <clears throat> so let's see, the blue ones go on the bottom, the orange one, orange and brown goes on top. So just disconnect these here somehow. And then I'll connect my other ones from my other wiring harness. Should be good to go. The new motor uh, bolts in exactly the same as that. The new old motor. Got your two belts underneath. I got to deal with. And otherwise, should be got back. Okay, Frank and Maytag. Got the other motor in. I'm not using the old school parts anymore. Um, now I have to do. See, I just strip these wires. I had to cut these wires because um, there's. There's no way to get it through there, basically, unless you want to take every single wire off. Um, so what I did is I, I just made sure that uh, I know exactly where to re-splice the wires on again. And uh, I'm going to clean these, strip them a little bit, and then run them through here, and then hook them up back in here. Then i got to hook the po power wires up here, and uh, then should be good to go. Frank and Maytag. And always remember to get the water level sensor up. We want to avoid any floods. Uh, one time I had a little uh, rat or something eat one of these. Ate a pinhole in this thing. This water level line. And uh, things started flooding all over the place. That'll happen. Because it doesn't know when to shut the water off. This is basically a little diaphragm switch senses the pressure of the water and uh, tells the timer when to turn the motor on to start agitating it tells when to shut the water off the valve and so anyway yeah okay, I'll be finished here. okay got them all reattached should be good I'm bypassing the lid switch won't have any problem with the lid switch never again um, and all I have to do is hook up the main AC lines see this one on the top uh, so these uh, 
This has the ribs on it. This is the clear one. You can see it's got these little ribs on it. So you want to try and match them up. So the, this one here is the one with the ribs, I believe. Now here it is. They look a little different anyway. Yeah, starting to rain. Better uh, close it down and thanks for watching.